welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB, and today in the arena we're trying out a Tezzeret Master of the Bridge deck. Tezzeret is the buy a box promo for War of the Spark. I say that kind of hesitantly because I play on arena, and that means I don't buy boxes. I believe you get this when you buy a large collection of packs, and you can also craft it. So this won't show up in any of your packs, but if you choose to craft Tezzeret Master of the Bridge, it's like a card coming out of another time. The ability that creatures and planeswalker spells you cast have affinity for artifacts is pretty fresh. You don't see that all the time anymore. Affinity was a busted mechanic back in my day, the days of Mirrodin and such. But now here we are, and affinity now can be get given to all your planeswalkers and your creatures as a static ability. Hopefully you'll get to see that in action. Basically, if you have three artifacts in play, a uh, sky scanner costs three mana less, meaning zero. You can play it for nothing and draw a card, and if you hit another artifact, you can keep going. It's really fun. Plus two is X damage to each opponent, where X is the number of artifacts you control, and you gain X life, which can be entertainment for sure. Like The Tezzeret laser is one of the more interesting animations in the game. If you haven't seen it, hopefully we'll show it off today. Minus three is return an artifact from your graveyard to your hand, an ability I still have never used because I'm too busy shooting the laser. And minus eight, exile the top 10 cards of your library. Put all artifact cards from among them onto the battlefield. Blah, just spew a bunch of artifacts. Very fun. So this deck is just built around that, to make a lot of artifacts and then use Tezzeret Master of the Bridge to do really absurd things. I'm not even going to walk through and talk through everything in the sideboard for the Karn the Great Creator and things like that. If you have questions, you can leave them in the comments. I sort of want to see if I can play it out and make it unfold on camera. And if we do, it will be a lot of fun. Of course, a red deck will kill me before I get to play my six drop, so let's hope to dodge those at least a little bit. Or maybe Psy can do some heavy lifting along with Fountain of Renewal to keep us alive. Let's go see what happens. Okay, treasure map, Glee guild globe, gleaming barrier, some land. It'll be crazy. I don't really know what this hand is going to do yet, because this is a mystery card, this is some scries, and all this does is sit there and block, so I'm curious, I'm curious. Where to begin? I suppose I can get the map down, and then every turn after it I can start using it, or I can get the globe down and start drawing cards. Our opponent with a planes doesn't tell me much about what's happening. But it has, it's kind of a big deal which card I play first. I'm going to go with the map. If the opponent plays like a small creature or something, next turn we can bury or scry, or fountain of renewal if we decide that's important. Dawn of Hope. All right, Dirtle meets Dirtle. So against other dirtly things, let's play the Guild Globe and let's use the treasure map. I can, may as well check the map first. Ooh, da -da -da. Please don't make me discard this somehow. Please don't make me discard this somehow. It's all I ever wanted. Double Dawn. Oh my goodness. And there's the best draw off the top of the deck. That's why I didn't set an upkeep stop for my treasure map, because the best draw I could make here is a Karn, and I'm actually pretty stunned I just ripped it. I didn't even bother saying that was why I was doing what I was doing, because I didn't want to set myself up for disappointment. So, in this deck, you want to make Karn Strucks with Karn really often. Just hit that minus two button, make a dude, they'll get bigger, they get stronger. The plussing of Karn should only be done if you can't do a minus two most of the time. So, just something to keep in mind. And our opponent with a resplendent angel. Okie dokie. So here we want to basically put out as many artifacts as we can, make these things huge, smash and bash, and we have a mana left over for our treasure map, so all is well in the world. The double Tezzerets are so ready right now. 6-6, six, six, smash! Hulk smash! And pass that turn. We're a land off the top away from tesserating. We even have two of them. 
It's crazy. So big turn needed. If it's a cleansing nova, I may, I, you may see me curl up in the fetal position and cry. Divine visitation. The memes versus the memes. I love you. The meme is going to be stronger with me. You just came down a turn too late to do the awesomeness. And now the opponent's passing the turn. Gleaming barrier, not what I need, need a land. Of course, the treasure map will flip, but there we go. Let's plus the Karn first. Oh yeah, double swamp, baller. All right, activate treasure map. The herd swamp in a row to the bottom. Play Tezzeret. Here comes the laser. You've seen it here, folks. And what's better? Just the <laughs> we'll play a second Tezzeret. Because our Tezzeret now has affinity, thanks to first Tezzeret, we will laser them again. Oh, yeah. The sound of your <laughs> a more appropriate voice line has never been uttered. That w is the sound of your demise. All right. We've got a... We're on the draw. The hand is already a bit slow, but we can go artifact, artifact, Karn. And that's pretty much where we need to be. The only... Thing that you'd want otherwise is maybe a Psy instead of a Karn, but both kind of do the same thing. Just crank out some tokens to buy you time. Might as well try it out. And our opponent opens with Hollowed Fountain. There's a Psy. Calling my shots today. Bant. Incubation Druid. Oh no. The Bant deck is very powerful. Goes way over the top. Plays Nissa and blows up our freaking world, so... I'm a bit nervous about it. Wow, the, the, the little snow globe sound effect is adorable. Don't know if I ever took the time to really notice it before. Okay, Lanawars. Incubation. <laughs> so going to be a lot of mana. Let's get Psy onto the battlefield and start making those Thopters. We're going to need them. I have a feeling Nissa is going to come out to play. Also, we have Karn who can start spitting constructs. I'm really curious what the opponent does this turn. It's a pivotal turn. If they can get on the front foot, we're in big trouble. If they can play something that can pressure my Karn, like a Hydroid Crisis. Oh. Well, that's not the worst. Like, it could definitely be worse because this doesn't do much for my opponent, I don't think. It does a lot more for me. I could make a 2-2. Karn could it get attacked. That's probably not going to happen. Although, I guess the 3-5 could attack. That would be a problem. What I mean is the opponent could pump all their mana into an attacking Incubation Druid, which could threaten to kill the Karn or kill the Karn Struct. So that's not good. I could get out the Fountain of Youth and start using a treasure map. That's probably better than just playing a Sky Scanner. That's not going to do anything. Let's get these on the board. It'll make our construct better. Probably doing an upkeep scry, but we'll see what we see on our opponent's turn. The sooner we flip that treasure map, the bigger our constructs get, bigger and stronger, and the more artifacts we have if we draw a Tezzeret to uh, go crazy. Maybe play Tezzeret and Ugin on the same turn. Be still my heart. Ooh, oh my god, this card. Let's slow this down. Could it be more annoying? Yeah, bounce the guild globe. It's freaking brilliant. All right, let's bottom that. <laughs> I guess this was a reason to have a sky scanner down so it could attack the Teferi. I didn't think the opponent had it, but I guess they spent last turn entrancing Melody on sigh so who knows well they have all this stuff i have this garbage it's not looking good don't know how we're gonna come back but at least the opponent used their minus from the sigh 
and it wasn't on the construct. So do I want to make a 3-3? How good is a 3-3? It's still not a good blocker against the potential 3-5 attack of the Incubation Druid, which can just get the Karn dead. So that's bad. That's really bad. Now I feel like I just have to play the Sky Scanner and a treasure map just to make sure that my token is bigger and the token just dies to another Teferi if that's what the opponent has. But I guess we'll just develop this artifact count. What more can we do? Another sigh. Okay. Well, that can get things going. Opponent's been incredibly disruptive and obnoxious so far. Curious if we can come back, pull out of it somehow. The trick is get enough artifacts on the battlefield and go crazy with Tezzeret. That's nice. I'm jealous. I want to do things like that someday in my life. I want to be that cool. Here we go. You got me. I own Tezzeret. <laughs> so rude. All right. Let's start making some dorks. We still need another land before we could even cast something like a Tezzeret. I wonder if we're just supposed to put a Karn out and start digging for it at this point. At least Karn would draw some attacks. I don't know. Nothing seems useful here. I guess we have to get them out of the hand somehow, but this is not helping my situation. If the Crassus attacks, I can take the Raveler out? Maybe. I mean, the opponent still has five mana. There's a lot more to be done. Okay, they finally leveled up an Incubation Druid. Sure, come at me. Okay, pull everything back except the 6-6 six, six Flample. That's fine, too. Land off the top. All right. So here's Ugin. Minus kill that Crassus. Now we play free maps. Do you like maps? Everybody likes maps. Um, do I care enough about this? Let's see, right now there are enough creatures with power to attack through the Ugin and get it dead. So I can't rely on it being alive. So I may as well kill this. Is it, Teferi? Come on. You got killed by a little Thopter. <laughs> what do you think is Teferi's worst defeat? Since he's always talking about this is not my worst defeat, this is not my worst defeat. What do you think his worst defeat was? Hmm, free elf. Yeah, may as well. Let's make the opponent put, pump their mana into the Incubation Druid. That at least takes away some of their options for the turn. Ugin down. But giant constructs incoming as we fight back. Okay. That's not a big Crassus. They, my opponent's pretty much flexing there, saying my hand is so good I don't care. Um, yeah, it's good enough. We can draw it with the Psy. Like, with Psy, it's a pretty good card. So if I play this now and make a big construct, the Crasis comes over. It doesn't quite kill it, but I think we should still play... Let's see. Hmm. I don't know, maybe I'm supposed to plus the Karn in this situation. Uh, the opponent will just attack it down like a bajillionness. Also, by the way, if I make a Karnstruct, it's such an easy steal for an Entrancing Melody. Maybe it's not even the play. I've definitely signed myself up for an awkward turn. Yeah, let's go for cards. I know that usually I want the Karnstruct, but I've got to get through all these bad cards. They are bad cards. <laughs> I gotta find the Tezzeret. That's really the only thing, right? Karn the Great Creator and Tezzeret. If I can get those two cards together, we can do some powerful stuff. I wasn't really tanked on that one. Or they were just bored. 
More artifacts needed. Your opponent is Incubation Druid Central over here. My face. Okay. You there and you there. Let's buy as much time as possible. Your opponents decided to, that attacking me is the way to be. Down to seven. My turn. No action. Is this a frilled mystic? Second Karn probably gets countered. If the opponent's going to attack me, I feel like this is where we've got to go. One of these will draw a counter spell, that's for sure. Hmm. I think I'm going to bottom you, though. I think we gotta resolve something huge like Tezzeret. I don't know. This is tough. Go up to eight. Block, block. One, two, three, four, five. It's not that much damage. I guess this is another three, potentially. But either way, we're going to resolve something else. Okay, I think I can try it. Ugh. All right, let's see if Psy resolves. The opponent knows about it, so if they have a Frilled Mystic, bang. No. Okay. Then let's make a Construct. I'm going to Scry and go for the Sky Scanner, because that makes more blockers than just making one Construct. Nope, not really what I'm after. Even a land here to activate my map more wouldn't be the worst thing. So what is left in their hand that they're not using? I guess we might find out here on end step. I mean, they can't of course just pump their incubation druid and have another 3-5 and they don't do that. I should stop trying to figure out what's going on. Clearly I have no idea. <laughs> My opponent's hand can't be... Okay, they're doing this. Whee! You did that. Alright, we need Tezzeret. Hmm. Not much we can do about a Finale of Glory unless... We hit the Tezzeret, then we make infinite Thopters. So that's the plan. And we're going to flip these maps so we can use these on upkeep. Get me some looks. You're not it. Come on, baby. Looks like I get one more try. Ah! Uh. So I have Psy, I can sacrifice some artifacts to draw. I need to have six mana left and six artifacts. This is gonna be close. There's no Tezzeret down there. Sacrifice two artifacts, draw a card, okay? Come on, baby. Feed me. Tilt. All right, you, you. Wrong Tezzeret. Oh my God, okay. I don't think that playing this will get there either. It'll draw two. But then I'll only have five mana left. That doesn't play the Tezzeret. And I don't think I have enough to affinity out the Tezzeret now. Ah! We tried so hard and got so far. In the end, it doesn't even matter. 
yeah, now there won't be enough artifacts that the Tezzeret's ability would matter. And it just wasn't meant to be, dear God. We tried, half our deck. Oh, it burns. It burns. It would have been such a great, we could have um, used the Guardians of Coilos loop to make infinite um, Thopters. It would have been so great as a response to that finale of glory. You have no idea. All right, Skill Glow, Gleaming Barrier, and Carnes. Let's go. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. My wife sings that song. I don't watch much Spongebob, but she does, and I guess it's a Spongebob thing. Let's draw a card. When our opponent doesn't have a creature yet, I'm not in a rush to play a Gleaming Barrier. Ooh, hello. Come on down, buddy. Let's get some Thopters. Blue on black. Tears on a river, push on a shove, doesn't mean much. All right. Mill, fighting Ashiok, all righty. Let's get some uh, Karnstrucks going. The Karnstrucks are going to balloon in size very quickly. I may as well attack down the Ashiok. If that's gonna be their win con, let's at least reduce it a little. God, he's so creepy. He just won't shut up either. Ooh, it's freaky. Thopped her up. Seven, seven, go and face. What you got? All right, down to 13. That's a clock, baby. That's a freaking clock. We'll wait till after the Ashiok activation to use the treasure map. Obviously, if we scry something to the top and it gets Ashiok, it's a waste of our scry. So haunted. Okay. Not a very powerful effect when you're taking a beating of this magnitude. But I do have to get rid of a pretty awesome card in a Karn. All right, scry him ups. Bottom of the land. Don't think I need that. Plus this Karn first, then we'll play the other Karn and make more Karn Strucks. <laughs> Do you want to give me the Tezzeret? You don't. <laughs> Shocking. Um, yeah, I think it's still more constructs. Everybody at your face. So I could leave back a Thopter to protect a Karn, but Kefnet has to jump block or else the opponent dies. They could have a removal spell to sort of blow that line up, but even then they're going to end up so low on life that I don't think it matters. Yep, put that back in the deck, please. And we'll say go. It's a lot of beats. Is the opponent going to go out with an Ashiok? Just Ashiok me for good measure. Cry of the Cronarium. All right. Boom, two Thopters down. So it's, the, it's that moment when Cry is not as good as a Ritual of Soot. Does the opponent let me win with the Tezzeret laser? That's what I want to know. Yeah, still got 25 to go. Ah, oh, I was going to try to quick click so I could use Karn Minus to get the Tezzeret laser. I love the Tezzeret laser. It's... Pew! <laughs> 
Fountain, Sky Scanner, Tezzeret. This hand is so bad. Let's try it. It has the Tezzeret. It has the important part. Boo. Hiss. All right. Well, kind of have a one, two, three curve at least. Are you just, no, you're not gonna shock my face. No Steamkin, no Steamkin, no Steamkin. Okay. If this is what we have to do to light a stage, I guess. I can't play lands with it and you can only play one of the two spells you hit. It's, it's like, I hate those light up the stages when people do that, but whatever. So do we get a Gleaming Barrier down? Our opponent's gonna play a Pyromancer. Next turn we play Psy, then they attack. I guess I'm gonna wanna block that Pyromancer. So, yeah, let's gleam, baby. Opponent's still on Risk Factor Red. You don't see that one that often these days. Bang. Fountain of Renewal, heal me. Psy Master Thopterus, support me. Two Bacons. If we get to play our Planeswalkers, that little bit of life gain could matter. This is this where the opponent's like, well, frenzy, and I don't care. Nope, more factors. Yep, you got me. I like this. Mm-hmm. So... Let's scan the skies, shall we? Guild Globe. Let's play a tap land. Let's poke him. Stick him with the pointy end, as Arya would say. Well, I guess John said it first. Spoilers? I don't know. The series is over, okay? If you if you're like scared of Game of Thrones spoilers now, you're a fool. Come on, Tezzeret, we need this life bump. Oh my god, there, there's, there's too many of them! Come on, just draw a stupid creature or something. Don't six me again. All right, this is kind of a tough call. We need to play this next turn. So, what does Karn do? Karn draws land, right? Like, that is what Karn freaking does. Oh, I should have played the other... Oh, um, if I get double bolted, if I get double bolted here, I deserve, I deserve to lose. Because I should be at seven. I should have played the be the bacon first. Okay, Chandra. All right. All right, I can deal. There's the life. There's the map. Come on, land. Come on, Karn gets land. That's what Karn does, right? You wouldn't give me another Gleaming Barrier. They actually should have. Obviously, more gleaming, gleaming Barriers don't matter too much right now. If they were thinking about the Master of the Bridge, they would not have done that. Here we go. Are you guys ready for a war? Do you believe that you can walk on water? Do you believe that you can win this fight tonight? Don't you see? You have already lost. Bam! Savage Tezzeret. So savage. Okay. Well, absolutely everyone, and I do mean everyone has either killed me before I get a chance to even try to do the combo, or they've conceded the second I've started doing it. So, <laughs> a little bonus footage for you. I'm gonna try to at least do the Guardians of Coilos combo, and Sparky won't let me down. Sparky won't bail. Yeah, see? Sparky's on it. I'll even pay two life. I'll front you two life, Sparks. Gearsmith Prodigy. Oh my gosh, Sparky, if you counter, if you counter one of my key thingies, I'm going to be so tilted. I've had such a bad day already. Diamond Mare, the one-two combo. 
What a beating. All right. Draw more land, please. We've got a riveting game going here. And we've got the great creator ready to roll, so all is well. Whoa, they're coming at me. Falling behind on the board. They got so much stuff. Hmm. What are we getting? Let's see, one, two, three. Maybe I should get a Guardians now and just bounce my Karn so I have it in the future to go with the Tezzeret when I find it. Only one token, so the Amulet of Safekeeping isn't that great. Wait, what? You can see my hand? Shut up. It's tilting. Don't say that to me. Yeah, I think I'm getting one of these and we'll bounce this We'll kind of make some chumps, then we'll bounce the Karn and save it until we have the Tezzeret to go off. Divination. Rock and freaking roll. Wait, you're not attacking the Karn. What a sport. What a sweetheart. You really are committed to letting me do all my shenanigans. I love you. All right. Well, in that case... That's Tezzeret, but it's the wrong one, so we need to draw the other one. Let's see how you respond to genius. Hmm. I'm animating this fountain. Fight him. <laughs> the plus one on Karn is rarely used too much, but until the end of turn, up to one target non-creature artifact becomes an artifact creature with power and toughness equal to its mana cost. So, yeah, we can turn our... Oh, now, wait, what? So you're not scared of the Great Creator, but you're scared of Tezzeret. Okay. Interesting. So, this goes back to being an artifact. The water nut, water nut, water knot falls right back off. More cards. Ugin. Let's go. We're gonna play a lot of things. Huh. Huh. We live in the life over here. That's that's how magic was meant to be meant to be played with this nonsense. Go to war for me, treasure map. <laughs> Psychic corrosion. Oh no, what if they mill all my Tezzerets? What if Sparky mills me? Disperse. Ooh, I get a globe. Okay. So which planeswalker would you like to attack? None of the above. Strange. So we can definitely do a lot of these guardians because they are reduced cost. But what we really need is that last Tezzeret, the crucial piece. So let's start with some scries. Keep going. It's so encouraging. I, why do I ever bother playing against any trolls on the internet with their mono red decks when I could be playing with Sparky, a good, loyal, supportive friend? Of course. My God. <laughs> I just I, we're never gonna draw this Tezzeret. Oh my lord. Or a sigh for that matter. Oh my lord. Hmm. What could I go get that would be epic? I don't have a bunch of things that draw more cards. It's important to take your time. Thank you. Let's do it like this. <laughs> Scared of the 4-4. Four, four. Do you think it's designed to do that anytime they play a card of like a 5 mana cost or high or something like that? Oh my goodness. What am I doing with my life? See, the amber could be three mana. I, I, I'm i working on it, okay? Sigh. Well, that's fun. We can probably use that next turn. So maybe I don't want to play more artifacts right now. I I saw something. Oh, stop freaking out! So crazy. All right. Could 
Could get you. But I guess having the other guardian can just do a million things. Thanks! I know, right? Oh my gosh, so so nice. Okay. Wow, that was wicked. Yeah, you're impressed, I know, I know. Alright. 11 11! So how do I get rid of this? Um I guess I could minus my own Ugin on it potentially to get the side back. But maybe we don't actually need it. I'm still just going to hold this for now. My favorite card is Tezzeret, the big one, the one that lets me do all my combo. That's my favorite card, and I'm not drawing it, and I need it. Totally lost. <laughs> all right, get out of there. Resolve those. Scry it up. Let's find him. Where are you at, Tez? Need you in my life. <laughs> Draw. Not quite. All right, draw some more. You're still one step behind. Yeah, that I know. Um. All right, let's go crazy. <laughs> it's taking it's bored with me. All right, more monsters. Since I have another backup creator, this is fine. This is fine. This is getting absolutely out of hand. We can save the Guardian. No, wait, we still have a Guardian here. We can still Guardian a Gil Globe. Okay. Or this. Or this. All right. Life, life, life. More dorks. Okay. I know we're going to get there. We got some 2020s. It's usually a good sign. But I'm still trying to show the combo, and this is absurd. <laughs> this is absolutely absurd. Apparently my deck is just that unplayable that I can't combo. All right, the opponent's Sparky's staying alive. What a warrior! Attack down. Uh, Sky Scanner will block. All the fountains. Nothing but the fountains. What else we got here? Nope. What else we got? Come on. Nope. You're not it either. Oh my goodness. Draw it. Come on. <laughs> if you need to watch this on double speed, I understand. Oh my lord. Brilliance comes easily. Okay. <clears throat> it happened. It actually happened, team. Yeah, that's what I said. Wow. And then we can do pretty much this until we can do this loop with the guardians until we have enough artifacts that the Tezzeret Plus is lethal. We can also do um, this where we bounce Karn the Great Creator. Play that again. Get those voice lines out of Sparky. Go to the sideboard, get the other Guardian. Bounce the Karn, the Great Creator, again. Play it again. Minus it, go to outside the game, get the other Guardians. See what I mean? Um, and how many artifacts do we even have right now? One, it's not enough, not really enough. But then, yeah, we just loop off. 
Yeah, real good. So good. So good. I got you. Nine, ten. Let's keep it coming, I suppose. Eleven, twelve. Yeah, so what we can also do now is we can plus the Tezzeret. Pew! And dead. <laughs> So that's what I hope to do to a human someday, but they'll never, they'll never let me play it out. <sighs> I hope you enjoyed this look at this kind of fun artifact Tezzeret deck. It's tier like Z, like it's, it can't beat red very much to save its life. We kind of got lucky in that match that we played getting to absorb those risk factors with that life gain. Uh, it's a very, like, it can't remove a turn two Steamkin, so it's not a real deck. And yeah, it doesn't do anything about Nissa either when the opponent just has a an early Nissa, which is really what the format's about. But it's a very fun deck. I would only craft it if you have the extra wild cards and you're looking for something fun to do. It's probably best against other human beings that you know if you have like a friends list here in Arena you just have some direct challenge people to play with it's pretty enjoyable it's also pretty fun for streaming it is not fun for ladder it is not fun for competitive events but yeah if you have some extra wild cards and want to try something out you can try this out thank you for watching this video and as always i will see you in the next video goodbye